Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys about the most feared promo and what you guys can expect to see with this promo coming up. Now when is this promo actually going to happen? Well, they did say it was going to happen in the mid-October and just like last year, it's actually falling around the same day. I think it's going to be next Friday, which would be the 18th. It makes sense. Promos are usually been on Friday. It is middle of October of course now could it potentially be on Monday I think it is possible but if I had to place money on it I'd say that it's gonna be next Friday we will get this promo so with that being said I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we got last year what I think could change coming into this year and honestly there's a lot of things that have already happened this year that I'm not really sure exactly what he's gonna do about it but it definitely interlines intertwines I guess would be the word for that intertwines with the most rare promos let me go ahead and go over it and I'll let you guys know my thoughts so first thing I need to tell you guys really quickly is that last year the most rare promo was actually split up into two parts and we actually already kind of know that Ray Lewis is confirmed for Madden 20 because well they actually already did kind of a little review and I'll show you guys that right now as you guys can see right here, they actually already have this page up on Madden 20. Finally, goes to group with a new Superstar KO team, shift them in with a spooky new X-Factor ability, and most feared returns. And you guys can see Ray Lewis is pretty much confirmed to come with most feared promo. So that much we already know, but now let's get into the other information about what happened last year. So as you guys can see, this of course is the first section that we got for most feared. This came out October 19th, which of course... You know, a year ago, I believe, was a Friday. So, starting October 19th, Most Feared comes right out of the gate with a foundation to start boosting your mud roster overall. Dividing into Most Feared will get you, or diving into Most Feared, will get you a mini squad of little monsters. So, the first part of the Most Feared promo last year was the Mutt Monster promo. So, of course, in solo challenges, these guys were actually, like, way, way smaller, like, four feet tall or even smaller than that, maybe even, I think, like, three feet, two, whatever. But, as you guys can see, with this promo, players will choose five out of ten little monsters to have their roster to take on a series of solo challenges to earn candy. That candy can be fed to the little monsters to make them grow bigger, better versions of themselves. As you continue to feed the little monsters, their stature and overall will also grow. Growing all five will knock new challenges with additional rewards along the way. Along with the little guys, boss monsters are available for those looking to add some elite level talent to their ultimate team. You can exchange your fully upgraded little monsters in a monster token, earn through the solo challenge to get a boss monster at 90 overall. Boss monster also available through packs and a full set of boss will get you the coveted 94 overall master monster, which was Calvin Johnson. Now the big thing with the most favorite promo every single year is the players in rage. Now what I mean by in rage basically is that on Halloween, I believe it actually starts, I think I want to say it starts Halloween and goes for two days. Uh, players in rage, so for like two days basically, they go to seven feet tall. Now in years past, it varied by their overall. So if you know you got 94 overall Calvin Johnson in years past, maybe he'd be like eight feet tall. Or if you got any of the LTD cards that are coming to this promo, there's going to be a lot of them, and I'll show you what LTDs we got last year with this promo. They would get super tall, and then of course the gold cards would be like, you know, 6'8", six, 6'10", six, they'd be taller. Well, last year, every single player that is involved in this promo was 7 feet tall, which I think was a little bit weird. Uh, I like it better with some variation. Basically, if you're playing Weekend League, or if you're playing head-to-head, -head, whatever, uh, and you don't have these players, you're done. Like, there's nothing that you can do. You can literally just aggressive catch all day long with a 7-foot tall guy who get a ton of user picks. Now, also, there was some solo challenges. There will also be pl plenty more available every day of the program with the Fun House Escape. Fun House will offer a series of solo challenges throughout Most Feared, so there's something to do daily when you log in. And then, of course, we had the Most Feared uh, Little Mutt Monster players. As you guys can see, we had a 90 overall Anthony Barr with 86 speed, 88 excel. Uh, we had Kelvin Benjamin, 84 speed, 92 catch, driving, 93 spec catch. Calais Campbell, 91 block shedding, 91 finesse move. DRC with 91 speed and 90 man coverage. Zach Cunningham with 82 speed. Jared Goff got one. Uh, Jimmy G, also Derek Henry. You guys can notice the salary cap on them was $9.99 to prevent people from using them in 
uh, salary cap, of course. And, of course, we had Derwin James, who has 92 hit power and 89 speed. Kyle Long as well with 82 strength, 89 pass block, 89 run block. And finally, we had Calvin Johnson, who had 91 speed, 94 spec catch, 92 catch traffic. At the time, was the best wide receiver in the game. He was incredible. I think we could potentially see a Calvin, but the issue is that we already have a free safety Calvin Johnson. So I'm not quite sure if we're actually going to be getting a Calvin. Now, like I said, this was just the first part of the promo. Let me show you guys the second part. So the next part of this promo came out on the 26th, and this one was a little bit different from the Mutt Monster part. So again, this could be, you know, maybe they just want to do it all together this year, or they're going to separate it. With the way things have been, especially with Mutt Heroes, them separating that up into like five different drops, which I've never seen done before, Mutt Heroes, I'd imagine they'll do the same thing with this. So imagine that Night Guardians will be coming out a week after, so not this upcoming Friday, not next Friday, but the week after next Friday. We could probably expect to see this. So as you guys can see, you've survived the spookiness so far, but it's time to turn up the intensity in this Mud Festival Frights with the second half of Most Feared. Following up the Little Monsters portion of this Mud program comes the Night Guardians. To build your strengths against the competition, these Guardians can be equipped with powerful gems that boost their stats to make them a dominant force in the field. The gems provide an even larger boost during the 48 hours surrounding Halloween and during night. During and during night, these players will go to scary new heights and become 7 feet tall. So Night Guardians, of course, also went to 7 feet tall, just like the Mutt Monsters as well did. Now, with this as well, guys, the gems they're talking about, in case you guys didn't play last year, uh, the gems were actually really good. They would give you, say, they're like plus one block shed, plus one power move, plus uh, one finesse move, plus one strength, stuff like that. And it was actually really, really cool. Now, we actually got a lot of really, really good players, and this is the one thing that I'm talking about. Like, last year, they've been using a lot of players that actually like i thought they would get most fear cards but they used them too early now as you guys can see gems used during and during night get an extra boost as well bumping specified ratings to six to a maximum to a maximum of 99 before returning to normal after that time frame so if you went with the the uh, the block shed gem uh the one they give you like block shed power move finesse or whatever if you had that in khalil mac he had 99 power move, 99 block shade, 99. The card was just insane. It was honestly so crazy. While they won't have an upgradable overall, they'll have a gem slot to unlock via training. That's it with the Night Guardians. That makes it so that you're not locked out of adjusting the Guardian after most feared ends. Uh, as you guys can see, we had a bunch of gold players. Uh, we also had some lower elite cards for the Night Guardians, but obviously we want to see these high guys. So take a look here. We had Landon Collins, 87 speed, 89 excel, 93 hit power, 87 zone. Landon Collins has a flashback, so Landon Collins is probably not going to be getting that. Damar Dotson. Now, Dotson has a heavyweight card, I believe. 83 strength with 92 awareness, 92 pass blocking, 88 run block. Next up, Harrison Smith. Harrison Smith has a much superstar from the beginning of the game. I think he could potentially still get a Night Guardian or in general most feared card. 87 hit power, 92 zone, 85 speed. Next up, Michael Thomas, right? So Michael Thomas has 88 speed, 88 jumping, 91 catch, 88 spectacular catch, 90 short, 87 medium, 86 deep. I don't believe he has an upgrade since his journey card, so he could actually get one as well. But here's the thing. I thought for sure when Khalil Mack came out this year, he would not end up getting an upgrade until most feared. Well, he got an ultimate kickoff, so I seriously don't think he's going to be in this promo, but Khalil Mack is one of those cards you always look forward to with the most favorite promo, so I kind of thought he would be in here. But he's got 83 speed, 85 excel, 92 power, 90 block shed. That card was very, very good last year. Uh, also, Russell Wilson. Guess what? We just got a signature series, Russell Wilson. 82 speed, 90 throw power, 90 short, 87 medium, 82 deep. Card was pretty solid. Uh, and then, of course, Mean Joe Green. We could definitely see Mean Joe Green back in the game with 77 speed, 83 excel, 95 block shed, 94 power move. So basically, with this promo, what are we expecting to see exactly? Well, we're probably going to get the same exact thing when it comes to the Mutt Monsters, which did allow us to go in and get a free player, basically. You could choose any of those players and then get the candies feed them up until they become a 90 overall and you can get one for free i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly now also with the night guardian promo you don't get any of these guys for free maybe they'll change it this year but i'm really confused as to what they're going to do with the players we already have russell wilson we already have landon collins we already have khalil mack aaron donald and yes there was some ltds and i'm gonna show you guys this list of ltds as well in terms of LTDs, you guys can see we did have Night Train Lane LTD, Larry Fitz LTD, 
and Aaron Donald, which already had him. But there also was, I believe, a Terrell Suggs. And I think that was it for the limited time cards. So we had four LTDs, but we already have Aaron Donald, and we already have Khalil Mack in the game. So I don't think either of them, or obviously Aaron Donald's not going to get guarded because he literally just got one, but I don't think Khalil Mack ended up getting an upgrade. So they're already using up a good majority of the players that we are so used to seeing in the most for your promo. As you guys can see from these top guys, I mean, we already have Donald, we already have Mack, we already have Russell Wilson, we already have a Harrison Smith, which they could potentially give him one. Landon Collins, Demar Dotson, we already have those guys. So I'm not exactly sure who their main focus guys are going to be. Maybe we see some rookie premier upgrades like Nick Bosa, someone like that. But I want you guys' opinions on who you think we can actually give for this promo. Guys, that is the most feared promo. What we can expect to see, basically, a bunch of players that are going to be either seven feet tall or higher. Now, I really hope EA changes it and they make some of the guys way taller, like the 94 overall Calvin Johnson. He should have been like eight feet tall. Just something crazy. Give us something fun to see and also make the stats way better because last year the stats actually weren't even better. Players just got their height up. I want to be able to just go into games and dominate with those players if my opponent does not have most feared on their team i want to be able to just absolutely wreck them and if you don't have most feared players in general still versus seven feet tall guys not hard or not easy i should say to stop them so it's definitely very 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 hard to stop them if you're not gonna have any of those players but if they do it exactly like last year honestly wasn't a terrible promo uh we did get of course the mud monsters we got a free 90 overall player from the solos the night guardians we got a couple of like the the low set pieces as free both from the solos and at so you guys can go ahead and complete a set you couldn't do it all for free but you could get like khalil mack those guys for slightly cheaper still was pretty expensive to go ahead and do though and i really like the gems so i hope they keep the gems because honestly that was really cool but with that being said guys that's what we can expect to see with the most feared promo i don't know what players there's going to be because They've used up a lot of their options already, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, comment down below who you think can be in the most feared, maybe they go back to when they used to do the scary tall, the scary fast, those type of things, they actually did have that two years ago, kind of curious to see what they do, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll see you guys next time.